sky is the limit for female leaders. In a historic move, U.S. President Joe Biden last month nominated Admiral Lisa, current Vice Chief of Operation for the Navy, to lead the service. If confirmed in the Senate, she would become the first woman to lead the U.S. Navy in 248 years. Networking with people, teamwork, and good uh, mentorship are the values the two successful female leaders emphasize. So, when I came in the Navy, there was only one admiral, and she was amazing, and she was a great mentor, and she took all of us under her wing. And I feel I am the beneficiary of all the people that went before me. France, France Chanty recalled. When she first joined the Navy, she could not go on board a ship. I didn't join the Navy to fly a desk, and I figured that was the end of the May career. She saw Tabu getting out after finishing her required service of four years. Then a boss had said, we really needed to get you to a ship. You'd be a great division officer. Let's figure out how to do that. In an interview with the Washington Post while she was still waiting for the Senate confirmation, Jackson said that having someone who takes an interest in you has helped her to get to the current position. Brianna Banks, a black student at Harvard Law School, where Jackson started, said that she cried upon the nomination, announcement, and felt they, black women, also could dream what had not been imagined before, because the sky is the limit now. I like to cheer on all women's challenges and growth, and hope the society can be a good mentor to women with dreams.